Hey folks, thanks for attending this event and showing up. I think it's really important. And of course, what's up Twitter? So, so I'm Adrienne Richards. I'm an organic technology consultant. And today we're gonna talk about what you need to know in order to go ahead and purchase a Blackberry, an iPhone, an Android, a mobile device of any kind that is also a telephone. There are over 1 billion active cell phone subscriptions right now. They expect this number to increase by about 15% each year. This means that people are going to ask for more features, more functions. Here are just some of the things that folks want their phones to do, rather than just call people. We got email, calendars, they want to record video, they want to take photos, of course, texting. That's what adults call it, texting, not just text message. So it's like picking a puppy or picking a car, either one. We're going to cover these four things today. What devices are out there for you? What are their functions? What are your providers or carrier choices? And yes, you can keep your same carrier and features. So the BlackBerry came out in 2002, and it has 19% of the market share. The iPhone came out in 2007, and it's already up to 11%. And of course, Google Android's catching up. So. I'm going to go through each of these. We got the BlackBerry. It's great for email. It really has a big business focus. So if you are a salesperson or an IT person or a manager or you just work at a company, it's not that hard to get a, a BlackBerry from your boss. So, and it has a built-in keypad so your thumbs will hurt. Here's the iPhone. I, I was just, uh, <laughs> it's a Swiss army knife of PDAs. It received invention of the year from Time Magazine in 2007, right? The thing people love is they can make it their own. All right, so you got the on-screen keypad. Smartphones, uh, I asked folks on Twitter, what is this called when you call facial tissues Kleenexes, right? And uh, it's a genericized trademark. So smartphones actually encompass a, a bunch of, it encompasses all of these things that call and do other stuff. Windows Mobile, basically all they do is they promote Microsoft stuff. You can open up Word, you can syn synchronize with Outlook. Um, and a lot, of, as you can see, a lot of different companies produce devices that run Windows Mobile. But you can just forget that. Uh, Google, Google Android. <laughs> a newcomer to the field, what they're focusing on is that anyone has access to this code so you can customize it. It's better than an iPhone app, sort of, for programmers. All right, so here's what you need to work, think about. Do you want cool or do you want essential? You need to write your own list of what's important to you. All right, input options. Do you want to type with your thumb? Thumb, maybe you do. I don't know. Keyboard size, battery life, syncing with your Mac or your PC. You have to pick those things out before you head to the store. Once you head to the store, they will brainwash you. So here are some carriers. We got AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, Nextel, Helio. So you don't have to change providers unless you want to. Where can you get a new mobile phone device from? You can get you can go ahead and get them from your carrier. You can get one from eBay or Craigslist or a third party. What would be the benefit? Getting an unlocked phone will allow you to get a phone with more features. Or it also won't lock you into a contract. And what is the benefit of doing this research? Well, you're looking at a cost of between $80 to $800. So yes, you could save several hundred dollars by spending just a bit of time doing research. And the payoff is more time with your family more vacation time, more time to just think, and you'll have a competitive advantage over your vertical market if you pick the right mobile phone device. So it's up to you. <clears throat> and here, once again, here is this list. People pick all different types of dogs. They pick all, and this is my dog, this is Bluey, so for those of you who know. So, <laughs> people pick all types of dogs based on their belief of what that dog will give them. You need to figure that out for your mobile device before you go to the store. And here's the choices we have. Data plans. You have an always-on internet connection. It's about $20 a month. We have wireless here. Uh, it's not always available and there's a security risk and it drains the battery of your smartphone or mobile device. GPS navigation is new in the last two or so years on all these devices, so look for a device that has it. It'll really help you out. Get to that next business meeting on time. So pirates take care of their ships, and so do captains. So you should take care of your mobile device. Get a warranty. Get a protective case. All right, keep it charged, and don't leave it in your car if you want to have it the next day. And of course, since I'm a nerd, here are all my citations and um, Flickr photo credits. Thank you.